What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to play a little bit of Destiny. Well actually I played this a few weeks ago and uh, talk to you guys about some pretty fantastic news that Bungie and Activision are rolling out for consumers across the country. Now I've seen some great deals. I've seen some developers uh, and publishers work hard to uh, bring value to the masses but I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. Uh, I have multiple PS3s in my house. I think I have four or five in my house. They're all oper operational. They all work fine. And I have a PS4. And so uh, my wife and I, we already know, we already knew that we were getting Destiny on the PS4. But it was always, it would always be nice to have more than one copy of the game. So we were heavily debating buying the PS3 version as well. So that if I'm playing on the PS4, she or one of my sons could be playing on the PS3 so they can experience it. Uh, you know, at the same time. Uh, today I, I came across a little bit of news I want to share with you guys and I want to talk to you guys about how it's so amazing and uh, what this means for the future of development of video games, what publishers and developers are going to be doing to make their game the success that they want it to be. Now, Destiny was a game that has a 500 million dollar budget, one of the most expensive video games ever uh, that's the amount of money they could spend even though they admittedly didn't spend that much and uh, a lot of people were wondering what their strategy was what their uh, advertising strategy is to uh, to wake up the, the millions of people the millions of gamers out there and make people gravitate gravitate toward their game gravitate toward their uh, their product and I didn't think that advertising alone was going to be enough to make uh, destiny what I thought they were shooting for but they're doing a lot more than advertising and I think this just might work because uh, we all saw what happened with the alpha and with the beta they allowed everybody to play the beta the last two days that the beta was available so really nobody who didn't have uh, you know Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus uh, missed that that opportunity to play Destiny and over four and a half million people played it that beta so there's a lot of people who have a lot of good things to say about Destiny I'm one of them and so that was already to me a very smart move uh, a very smart move uh, for a developer to allow everybody to test your game and then on top of that you got these crazy servers that allow people to go on you know team based uh, campaigns or uh, competitive multiplayer and it all works so well and so seamless and so that was already a big a big check mark uh, in the eyes of me and in the eyes of a lot of other gamers out there that Destiny was going to be huge, but they've actually gone further now. They've done even more <laughs> to uh, to push this game into the households of many, many more gamers. Uh, and I, I don't think this has ever happened before. Uh, I'm, I'm, there's an article I want to read to you guys, but I'm going to kind of put it in my own words first. If you buy the last gen versions of Destiny, if you buy it on the PS3 or on the Xbox 360, Bungie and Activision are going to allow you for for a limited time to upgrade your version of the game from last gen to current gen, meaning PS4 and Xbox One, for free. So uh, if you're like me and you own multiple PS3s and uh, you you were you know wrestling with buying Destiny on the PS3 and on the PS4, if you pre-order Destiny on the PS3, the digital version, you will get the free update the entire game on the PlayStation 4 and so um, this has never been done but the fact of the matter is if you own the Xbox 360 and you pre you digitally pre-order on the 360 then you're going to get the Xbox one version of the game entirely free and uh, this I don't think this has ever been done before where a developer that has a multi-plat allows absolutely everybody in in the country to have their game all you do is buy it once you can have it on multiple systems now this article is on polygon.com there will be a link in the description for you guys to check it out Destiny, Destiny customers who buy the game digitally on last generation consoles can get a free copy on new consoles with an offer that runs from now until mid-January according to the game's official website the Destiny digital upgrade covers the game itself on PlayStation Store or Xbox games for $59.99. The expansion pass, which includes two announced expansions for $34.99, and the Digital Guardian Edition, which includes the expansion pass for $89.99. If you buy any of these three items on PS3, you'll be able to download the PlayStation 4 version at no additional cost. The same is valid when going from Xbox 360 to Xbox One. 
In order to redeem your new generation copies, you'll need to sign in on the PS4 or Xbox One, as the case may be, no later than January 15th, 2015. Once you log in, you have to go to the PlayStation Store or Xbox Game Store, respectively, then add the free content in question to your cart and buy it. Bungie notes that Expansion Pass content will only be available for full download once it's released. Destiny's first expansion, The Dark Below, is set for release in December. According to Bungie, anybody who upgrades on both the PlayStation and Xbox families of systems will be able to keep playing on both the old consoles and the new consoles even after you make the jump to the current generation. Your PlayStation Network or Xbox Live account will remain active uh, re I'm sorry, will remain licenses to both versions and Bungie previously confirmed that players can transfer characters and progress from PS3 to PS4 or Xbox 360 to Xbox One. The upshot is this, if you buy a digital version of Destiny on PS3 when it launches next week and you get a PS4 this holiday season, you can keep playing your Guardian on your new console in January after you download your free PS4 copy of the game. Then you can hand down your PS3 to your sister and she can create a Guardian of her very own. This news is unlike any gaming news I've ever heard of, and it's, it's like uh, watching a behemoth grow. It's like watching a summon from Final Fantasy turn into something crazy. I can't believe they're doing this. Um, because, you know, on PlayStation Network, you can actually link more than one PlayStation together. I have multiple PS3s in my house. Uh, my sons have one of my PS3 accounts on their PS3. I got one in my room. And so if I pre-order on my PS3, that's two copies of Destiny right there. That's two copies. And on top of that, I get a free version for my PlayStation 4. So that's three copies for the price of one. That means there can be three people simultaneously logged in to Destiny and everybody can be playing together having a ball. Uh, this news is crazy. I can't believe they're actually doing this. Uh, Bungie and Activision, I gotta give you guys a thumbs up for this. Uh, it appears that they want this game to be one of the biggest games of all time. They want everybody to play it. They want everybody to own it. And uh, that's, you know, an, an amazing value, having the game on multiple platforms or, or generations and, uh, you know, being able to play them even though you upgrade. I've never seen this before. I think this could possibly turn the tide and make Destiny even bigger than it's already perceived to be. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, yeah, I'll just get it on the next-gen stuff. I'll get it on my Xbox One. I'll get it on the PS4. What's the point of owning it on the PS3? And to that, I say, get it on as many consoles as you can. If they're going to give it away, I'm going to take it. And uh, I implore you guys to think the same way. If Bungie and Activision are going to give us two versions of the game for the price of one, why not jump on that? I mean, I, I'm a video game collector. I have 31 game consoles. I got tons of games. And uh, that's something I've always prided myself on, having as many games as possible. One down thing about this is, this is actually the digital version of the game. This doesn't apply to the pre-ordered version of the disc-based game, or at least that's not what I'm getting from this article. I'm going to find out tomorrow for sure. I'm going to call my local GameStop and ask them, does this, does this deal apply to the pre-order that I already have? Because I have a pre-order for the PS3 and the PS4. And uh, so I'm going to find out tomorrow. But I normally don't buy uh, digital versions of games unless it's episodic like The Walking Dead or Wolf Among Us, things of that nature, or small PSN uh, type games. But this will probably be the first uh, digital version of a full, full price video game uh, retail release that I ever buy. But the reason I'm going to do it is because this is like a deal you can't pass up. I mean, I mean, being honest, this is not something that I want to not take advantage of. You know, I got all these systems and I can have Destiny on a lot of them. Who wouldn't do that? I want to hear back from you guys, though. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this deal. If it's worthwhile, if there's some kind of catch. I can't wait to hear Not Too Nerdy Entertainment, the voice of the people. You let me know what you think about this kind of, you know, deal. If uh, Bungie and Activision are actually, you know, uh, treading a whole new path for themselves and a whole new path for future generations of video game devs and uh, and publishers, because I don't think this has ever happened before, where uh, you get a free upgrade to a, you know the next gen or current gen console just for buying the old. To me, this is just a ploy f from Bungie and from Activision to get this game in the hands of as many people as possible. Because the bottom line is this: this is the bottom line. Destiny is fun. It's a fun game. It's very fun. 
no matter what you're doing, no matter if, if you're doing single player stuff, you know, if you're doing the uh, campaign, if you're doing crucible missions, no matter what it is, there's something for everybody. And one thing I can say, it wasn't a dull moment. I didn't have a dull moment. Uh, you know, even in the beta, going around and, uh, you know, exploring the terrain and finding new enemies and finding new loot, it, it has something for everybody. And, and that's one thing I can definitely say about Destiny. No matter what kind of gamer you are, if you like any kind of first person shooter, Destiny is going to be the game for you. It's a very fun experience and they want to get it in the hands of everybody so it takes over and has a huge install base. It's going to have a gigantic install base now because of this deal. You know, just imagine all the old, you know, you do this on your PS3, you upgrade to the PS4 and you sell your PS3 to somebody and it has Destiny already installed on it. I mean, this is going to happen many, many times over. You guys let me know what you think about this news. Be sure to comment. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all the new subscribers and all the comments left down in the comment section below. I am the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Zone A lost. Zone C neutralized. Enemy captured, Zone A. Show them the true meaning of war. One minute. You neutralized Zone B. Captured Zone B. Zone C secure. Another battle won. On to the next fight.